John Whitmore, Coaching for Performance, Growing Human Potential and Purpose, The Principles and Practice of Coaching and Leadership. Dive into the world of effective coaching and leadership with John Whitmore's book, Coaching for Performance, Growing Human Potential and Purpose. This book summary highlights the importance of developing your department's resources and the crucial role that employee performance plays in your success as a manager. You'll learn how to effectively manage employees' behavior through specific interventions and how to overcome natural impulses that could impede progress. The summary also sheds light on praise and recognition as powerful motivators and how the art of communication impacts success in the workplace. The Art of Coaching for Managers Managers who coach their employees to perform succeed in their roles by developing all their department's resources. Coaching is a skill set and managers who don't learn it professionally often end up with counterproductive results. To be successful and recognized as an effective manager, training, managing behavior and providing timely specific interventions to employees is essential to improve employees' performance. A manager must strive to help their employees meet their full potential and specific tasks to achieve the required outcomes. Ultimately, it is in a manager's best interests to ensure the success of their employees. The Cost of Problematic Employees Problem employees can be a drain on a company's resources, but replacing them also comes at a significant cost. Instead of immediately firing them, managers should invest time and resources into rehabilitating and modifying their behavior. This requires a focus on behavior-specific interventions and avoiding personal discussions that may not be relevant to the job. Managers should also consider the employee's perception of positive and negative consequences and provide timely, specific praise for good performance. Doing so can turn poor performers into good ones and improve overall company performance. Effective Communication Strategies Communication is not just about sharing information but about transferring thoughts as well. To get employees to think like you, provide the right stimuli that align with your thoughts. A mistake in identifying the cause of unsatisfactory performance can lead to an incorrect solution. The key to effective communication is asking questions and allowing time for listeners to process and come to their conclusions. Storytelling is a useful tool to get the point across. It is essential to confirm comprehension by getting listeners to reiterate your thoughts. Remember, how you perceive consequences may differ from the individual receiving them, so it's vital to understand their perspective. With these effective communication strategies, one can successfully transfer thoughts to others and achieve desired outcomes. Effective Feedback for Managers Managers often fail to provide specific feedback, assuming that employees know what is expected of them. However, many employees are unaware of how they measure up and may not even realize that their performance is lacking. The manager's duty is to manage people's behavior within the restricted parameters of the business environment. Effective feedback should be delivered in a neutral tone to help poor performers change. Asking questions like, are you aware of that, can draw attention to a concern that the employee may not have realized is a problem. The first step is to build awareness using neutral feedback, followed by monitoring the subsequent behavior. If performance does not change, a second dose of neutral feedback can be given. Resolving non-performance issues is often straightforward and easy with one or two neutral feedback statements. Improving employee performance. To correct non-performance, managers should coach employees with specific interventions. Many assume inadequate workers simply perform badly by choice, but this is often untrue. The main reasons behind non-performance are often lack of clarity or training. Additionally, employees may not comprehend the importance of their tasks or wrongly believe they are meeting expectations. Obstacles may include personal issues, unrealistic expectations, and fear of negative consequences, among others. Addressing these obstacles and offering positive reinforcement for a job well done can lead to marked improvements in employee performance. Effective Behavior Management Coaching A five-step approach to behavior management can help coaches effectively manage employees. 
Before coaching, analyze the problem and avoid any judgments, opinions, or assumptions that may influence non-performance. The first step is to get employees to acknowledge the existence of a performance problem. This coaching session should be a discussion, not a lecture, and coaches should ask questions to help employees reach their own conclusions about their work. Until employees acknowledge their problems, their behavior will not change. Coaches should work with employees to list the results of non-performance and convince them to admit their issues aloud. The consequences of non-performance should be listed, and employees need to understand that they can control their behavior, but their decisions limit the coach's alternatives. Once employees acknowledge the impact of non-performance and admit to their problems, the second step can be taken. With practice, this five-step approach can improve coaching results. Collaborative Problem Solving Encourage employees to brainstorm solutions by asking questions and allowing a two-way process. In order to solve a problem, it's important to engage employees in the process. Instead of dictating a solution, encourage a collaborative approach where the employee and employer work together to generate ideas and possible solutions. By asking questions and allowing for a two-way process, employees can feel empowered to provide valuable input. Don't immediately jump in with your own ideas, but instead, focus on listing all possible solutions. This collaborative problem-solving process can lead to better outcomes and a more engaged workforce. Effective Solutions for Business Problems Encouraging employees to take specific and actionable steps to address business problems is crucial for resolving them effectively, according to the book. Managers shouldn't step in or take control. Instead, they should create a space for silence and allow employees to speak up. Once they have listed potential solutions, managers should ask each person to select a specific action and set a specific start time. By doing this, they can encourage each team member to commit to change and take ownership of their respective problems. Finally, schedule a follow-up session to ensure progress is made. Effective Employee Follow-Up To effectively follow up with employees, acknowledge their progress, monitor their improvement, and address continued bad performance. Offer help to overcome obstacles to success while clarifying expectations. Failing to do so undermines authority and reinforces negative behavior. If necessary, consider terminating any willfully insubordinate employees. Remember, the goal is to change the score, not to keep score. Reinforce positive behaviors. To sustain positive behavior, one must reinforce progress and achievement constantly. This feedback should be given regularly, and praise should be offered immediately. Genuine and specific expressions of appreciation go a long way in boosting employee morale and performance. These small efforts lead to significant changes in departmental outcomes. In conclusion, John Whitmore's Coaching for Performance presents an insightful approach to people management that can significantly impact your success as a manager. It emphasizes the importance of fostering employee growth, understanding perceptions, and providing constructive feedback. By mastering the five-step approach to behavior management and honing your coaching skills, you can enhance overall performance and reduce the need to replace employees. Paying attention to the power of praise, the intricacies of communication, and the necessity of consistent reinforcement, you can create a work environment that cultivates success for both you and your employees.